welcome your faces back to episode number 56 season two of the series profit or loss as you probably saw from the thumbnail things are getting a little bit out of hand today i'm trying to fix a motherboard me this guy trying to fix her motherboard all in the name of trying to make a profit so for this episode episode number 56 i bought a motherboard the cost for this motherboard was 50 pounds for the rog allies none of them have sold yet none of them have even been listed and i do not currently have an update on the 3080 ti the thing is with motherboards is that they require a bunch of things to be able to test you need a cpu a gpu you need the ram you need a cpu cooler and it's just stuff that unfortunately in this room i don't have much space for so for that reason i usually go in my loft are we going to make a profit in today's video or is it going to be another loss delaying our series even further trust me i thought we were going to reach the 2000 pound target maybe six episodes ago so this also hurts me let's see how this one goes Pro B760M-A. It's a Wi-Fi board, DDR4. I think I've got one slot of DDR4, which is okay. I'm still waiting on DDR5 RAM, actually, just for the other motherboards I have that are uh, DDR5. I don't know how old this board is, necessarily, but I paid £50 for it. So if I can get this working, we're looking at around about a £30 to £40 profit, is what I'd say. So not huge amounts on the profit, but it's kind of a low-risk, low-reward sort of situation at this point. I don't know how much I'll be able to sell it for if I can't get it working probably won't even be able to get the 50 for it back but maybe like a 30 40 pound or so it comes with a sata cable there's a sata data cable and also we've it comes with the back plate which is kind of nice let's see what's wrong with it uh what else do we have in here oh, i've got some motherboards well i did have some motherboard screws which one's that i don't know what screw that is that looks like a case screw but i've got some motherboard screws here they look like the m.2 screws that's good to have and some sort of uh leaflet as well okay so i can see bent pins but i mean general inspection of the board itself actually you know what it looks really clean hey really really clean i don't see any burn marks or anything like that on the back so again one is just going to assume that the only thing that we have faulty is bent pins comes with the ssd card slot cover here the m.2 oh i'm missing a screw here that's probably the screw that's in the box then is the one that goes here okay let's go into the scope real quick i've got the wide angle lens on and let's inspect for some bent pins yeah i see them okay i see these bad boys so we've got one you probably can't actually see this one here can you no look this one's really undercover until i tilt it up <laughs> can you see that one there so we got that one there i don't know what's going on and then we got the two down here as well just here and here and is that it I think that might be it. Let me uh, take the clasp off. Before we continue with the repair, a big shout out from today's video sponsor, PCBWay. Are you somebody who needs custom parts quick time? PCBWay makes it ridiculously easy with their instant quote tool. Just upload your Gerber files for the PCB and you are ready to go. The customization on this website is unmatched. They don't just do PCBs either. They offer CNC machining, 3D printing, sheet metal fabrication, and even injection molding. It's all there for the taking and if you're personally stuck for ideas on what to make or just love a good browse check out their shared projects and online shop packed with community builds and parts ready to order hit the link in the description and give it a try these clasps are very very strong there we go wow if uh if that's all it is this might be a really nice easy quick fix i'm just thinking to get more like leverage on here should i take these screws out you know and take the brackets off because I'm assuming on the back of the board. No, it's just the LGA one. Maybe I should keep it like this and try. I'll try and get as much clearance as possible because I do want to keep my scope as high as I can. Yeah, I kind of want to take this off because I don't want it falling over whilst I'm like doing bits, you know? What is that? Is that a Phillips or something? What is that? A T? Oh no, it's like a T, like a T10. Maybe even, maybe even bigger than a T10. No, it's T10. Look how easy that comes off. Oh, uh, not only how easy that comes off, how easy you can chuck that screw about. I don't want to lose that. How does that go like that? And then that goes like that yeah okay cool that comes out super easy to be fair say if you damage this load can you actually replace the uh replace all of the pins in here or not let's see i don't know what way this is uh what way this pin is going is it just too far up or is it too far down it's quite difficult to uh to tell actually there we go is that is that, that one fixed i don't know i've never i've done a couple of um cpu pins but i've never done oh there we go look I've never done a uh, motherboard pin, so I don't know if they're massively different or not. Maybe these are a bit more brittle. Like that. That looks perfectly in line to me now. Yeah, you can replace the whole socket. How do you replace the whole socket? Oh, what's happened to this one? Which one's out of line? Can't even tell. 
This is the bad one, I think. Just having a look here. This one's the bad one. Slowly. Well, I don't even know. Oh, is it this one that's bad? Wait there. Yeah, I think it's that one. Is it? I can't even tell. See, here, they don't look too bad, do they? Maybe it needs to come down a bit more, hey? I think it needs to come, like, this way. I think it's... Is it these two? Because I've just seen... I can, I can just about see... Yeah, it is these two. But they look alright. It's not as shiny. To be fair, they look okay. I think I've sorted it. I can't really tell. It's quite difficult to see, you know. Where's my phone? Yeah, I think they're sorted. They're not perfect, but they're also not like... I don't think they're going to affect anything, you know? You can't even... Which ones was it, guys? You can't even see, can you? Do you know what I mean? Well, you can. It just looks a little bit blue. It's just there. Like that. And then we've got one more. I lied. We've got two more. One of them's over here. Oh, which one is it? <laughs> I think we could see. I think we can see which one it is. This one here. This one was probably causing our issues. Big styly. I think it needs to go up a little bit more, hey? And then over. I think we've got a couple, maybe, is there one or two more? Is that one, are these ones okay? Yeah, these all look okay, hey? Uh, I'm right in thinking that these are meant to go the other way, right? There's one here that I'm looking at. But I'm right in thinking they're meant to go the other way compared to these ones. Not all of them are, are that bad, right? Let me turn the board around a bit. I can get better leverage this this side. It was just a shadow from the plastic next to it. I think you're right. I think you're right. I think the rest of them are okay. Um, I'm just seeing which ones look... <laughs> bent if all. Inspection seems to be okay, hey? I can't see any that are sticking out. I'm going to move the board up, right? And I'm just going to put it on its side. Oh, I can't really do this, can I? There we go. So that's the bottom row. And they're just shadows, where the notches are, like Ben said. So you see these notches here? Just shadows. If I can move the uh, light. There we go. That gives us a better view, doesn't it? To see whether they're bent or not. Yeah, these are all fine. Wow. Okay. We can test. Should I take it up to the loft? I don't see why anything else would potentially be wrong with this, you know? And then I'm assuming this goes... Wait, other way. Like that? Yes. Okay, cool. Thank you, Graham. As always. Okay. <laughs> I'm so nervous. This could, What an easy profit this could be. This could be the new gig. Lovely jubbly. Is this budget or is this mid-range? Well, I mean, 90 pounds, 80, 90 pounds. Is that, is that budget now? Mid for DDR4. That's what I'm saying, yeah. My budget is 30 pound. <laughs> can you get a 30 pound motherboard? Yeah, of course you can. The closest NVMe uh, M.2 to the CPU socket is the fastest one. Fact or fiction? Fact. Still got a the thermal putty as well. Good. So this is our CPU i3 12100. It'll only go in one way. I'm assuming this way. That makes sense. If not, I'm writing a complaint. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. It feels so wrong doing that latch. It feels so wrong. Right, RAM. I use my friend's RAM because I know it works. Do I have to put a cooler on? Preferably. Uh, I did buy one for that reason, didn't I? Is that an installation CD? No, it's not. I was going to say it on a cooler. Lord the glove. What is the world come to? All I have to do is put a little bit of thermal pasta and plop. I don't need to worry about screwing nothing down, right? Surely. I'm not playing games on this. Don't even need paste. No, I put paste. There's nothing on the motherboard that says which one is power. What? Oh, no, there is. It's just further down. I'm sure it's these two. If not, then uh, I just move it. Simple as that. All right. Wait, this has got display. This has got display port, man. This has got two display port, two HDMI. What on earth am I watching? Lord, the uh, glove above. Three, two, one. Do we get power? Uh, my mistake. Uh, the CPU is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, but it's got an additional four next to it. So it's an eight plus four. It's weird. Power on. Now. We have a light on the SSD. This is good. <laughs> Come on. CPU or memory changed. Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Press F1 to run setup or load default values and continue. Press F1, this bad boy. Wait, what happened? Oh, it timed out. I think it timed out. 
I didn't get a chance to uh, do what I wanted to do. I'm assuming it timed out. Yeah, it did. Look. Wow. Windows, come on. Yeah, buddy. Show me what you got. Yeah, let's go. Wow, man. We done it. We fixed the motherboard, man. I don't believe it. It gives me good hope as well because I'm like, hmm, okay, well, maybe the profits are going to be good on the other motherboards as well if they're just um, bent CPUs, you know? Is there anything that I should check? Should I test like the uh, PCIe slot, the Wi-Fi antennas? Um, the SSD slot obviously works, which is good. Um, I, think, I think the issue with this was bent pins though. So like in my head, it's like, well... If it's bent pins and I fix the bent pins, the motherboard should work. But I do I do want to do my due diligence. I, like when I buy a motherboard, I don't check every single function out of the box. Do you see what I'm saying? Should run a stress test, see what the chip handles the workload. BIOS 1.9, um, manufacturer MicroStar. I'm going to properly put the heatsink on with the fan. I'm going to do that 100%. Um, I'll test out the GPU PCIe slot. I'll put the RAM in different slots as well. Make sure that those two slots are working. Um, I'll probably connect up a couple of antenna cables or antenna wires to test the Wi-Fi as well. Make sure that's all good. And then once this cooler is on properly, I think giving it a stress test, stress testing the CPU itself is probably going to be in my best interest. And then, only then, would I potentially be happy selling this motherboard. But it was sold with as bent pins. I fixed that issue, so I'm hoping the rest is okay. Hey, I might keep one of these for a test bench, actually. That would make sense, because then I can give my friend his bench back. Do I, I? Do you know what? I might actually do that with this one, guys. Well, the, the test bench essentially would be for GPUs, right? So exactly like I say there, I think it's going to make much more sense for me to use this as a test bench. The current test bench that I have is my friend's. The one that I had before that, for some reason, it's a gigabyte one, and it just doesn't want to play ball. I've tried testing GPUs on it, and it's just not worked. So I'm thinking this CPU with this motherboard that I've got, I, I'm just going to write off the 50 pounds. That will then allow me to test GPUs and hopefully make some more money further down the line and just have more accurate results, I guess. Always nice when you can bank on something you know that works. Speaking of testing, I've done exactly that. Everything you heard me mention earlier about stress testing CPU and the RAM and testing the antenna cables on the motherboard seem to work absolutely fine. So with that being said, an estimated sale price of zero is just going to give us a flat minus £50 for today's episode. But I think I have about six more motherboards to fix. And don't worry, I won't include me just bending all the pins back uh, for the whole videos of all of them. This is just a nice video to be able to look back on and go, that was my first ever motherboard repair. And hey, it's something a little bit different, isn't it? Who knows? Maybe Maybe one day I'll build a PC only from faulty parts in the future. Except for power supply. I don't know if that's a good idea. If you did enjoy watching, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Have a great rest of your day, week, weekend, whatever it is for you. And I shall see you in the next one. Goodbye and peace.